And the next stretch of I-485 will not be opening on schedule and costs are mounting. That newest stretch is just five and a half miles long. It goes from Oakdale Road to Old Statesville Road, and it was supposed to open this coming Friday. News Channel 36 reporter Rad Berkey is in our mobile newsroom near that stretch of road with details on what the problem is this time. Rad? Well, the contractor says now it's the weather. First it was too rainy, then it was too cold, and now he won't even predict when this stretch of road is going to open. Our October 31st schedule for targeted opening of the project was a little overly optimistic. This time, Skanska, the company overseeing the work, says the opening is going to have to be delayed again because of the weather. The early cold snap has slowed work on cutting and sealing the concrete and striping the finished lanes. The cold weather is going to impact that. If it, if it stays colder weather means a longer time to finish the work, warmer weather means it gets finished soon. The five and a half mile leg was due to be finished in March of 2007, more than a year and a half ago. Having missed every new projected opening date, the project manager, even when pressed, wouldn't guess now when it will be ready. I haven't given up on making target dates. I just, uh, with the weather controlling us the way it does, it's, it's hard to establish that. Locals longing to use 485 say, come on. That's not an excuse for working outside. They know they work outside as a profession. When I worked for a power company, we worked outside profession. Rain, snow, whatever it took. Well, a day of reckoning will be coming soon here. If this project is ever finished, the state can actually fine the construction company for all of the delays here. Fines that could run $10,000 a day. Reporting live with our mobile newsroom, I'm Rad Berkey, News Channel 36. All right.